Hey guys, Jessica Damo here with another toy review, and today we're reviewing Jurassic World, Dr. Ellie Sattler. So as a kid, Jurassic Park came out in the mid-90s or something like that, and it was the coolest thing ever. They had some of the most amazing dinosaurs that ever existed next to Dino Riders, which were these motorized dinosaurs that had all kinds of cool futuristic weaponry strapped to them, and that's totally another story for another time. But... Jurassic Park. They had dino damage and things like that. And unfortunately, they cost a bunch of money. And uh, I had a Velociraptor that I found at the park. That you squeeze the legs and its mouth went open. And supposedly was supposed to make noise, but didn't. Um, that's 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 my Jurassic Park childhood. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine my excitement to see an action figure at, at Target for Dr. Ellie Sattler. A lot of the toys back then were kind of this weird scale as many toy companies will do from time to time and so i'm a big fan of the three and three quarter inch scale gi joes etc and you can see i'm using the stand from baroness here which is just kind of tongue-in-cheek hilarious she's got holes in her feet for using a stand so we've got dr ellie sattler finally in three and three quarter inch scale this is the box for the plastic blister pack can see her on the back it seems she actually kind of looks like the box that's always impressive you see her with three different dinosaurs wrapped around her and they're different dinosaurs even though they're the same breed or whatever they're they're different sculpts it would have been nice if she came with all three i can only assume that these come in some kind of large pack perhaps the target exclusive pack as dr alan grant and a bunch of other dinosaurs so far i've only seen three three different sculpts dr ellie sattler the main character uh you know the guy with the hat and then uh the guy who kind of was in charge of the velociraptors hunter type guy and uh, ends up eaten. I would like to see a whole lot more characters in this figure line, though. So she comes with one flashlight from Jurassic Park. I thought these were uh, supposed to be yellow in the movie. But uh, I have to go rewatch the movie to figure that out. Either way, great looking flashlight, nice sculpt to it. These are made by Mattel. I expected them to be made by Hasbro, just because Hasbro's kind of the king of three and three quarter inch figures, in my opinion. We got a nice soft rubber polyester dinosaur. Okay, minus the polyester. Little mouth, and he has eyes, and uh, he can grab onto the leg, can grab onto the head, can grab onto the arm. He's, he's quite malleable. We work in a lot of different situations. I remember some of these in Jurassic Park 2 end up chasing a little girl who was feeding them little bits of hot dog. Don't feed animals. Just don't. Don't feed the bears. Getting to our figure, we've got some nice articulation. She's got some weird paint on this. This knee, like it's scraped up a little bit, and there's a scratch here. Not that these are big deals, I'm just saying, you know, mine had some imperfections. It would be nice if there was an ankle joint, but there's not. But she's got these good knee joints. Looks like she does in the movie, and that's important. She has the ability to kick, like ninja kick. The Baroness would be jealous. It'd also be a ballerina if she really, really endeavored to be. Head turns. Not much up and down. Ball jointed shoulders. These remind me of uh, the ill-fated Speed Racer action figure line. I say ill-fated because uh, I was busy collecting a bunch of them. And then Walmart had a recall, even though there's no recall recorded online. Kind of drove me nuts. I think it was because they have weak shoulders that would kind of like disintegrate. And sometimes leave small plastic. Hopefully these are better and they don't end up recalled like that. Mattel has kind of a strange hip design, just saying. But it's different than Hasbro's G.I. Joe's, which is noteworthy. There's imprint of, you know, the make and model, etc. here on the back. You can't really see it, but it is there. Overall, great flexibility. It'd be nice if the head was on a ball joint, but I don't think that it is. There's holes in the feet. I have China printed on her more than once, I think. But she looks like she does in the movie. The dinosaur sticks to her and to anybody else it wants to. And I would like to see an entire figure line from this movie. Absolutely 
would love it. It'd be nice to see the Jeep back as well with dino damage. Whoa, what happened to the dino damage? I can only guess that kids lost the dino damage part, and then, like, the toy company was like, well, that was a bad idea, because now all the dinosaurs have giant holes ripped in them from dino damage. So, and if you use magnets, then people start getting like, well, the way the kid swallows it. But, regardless of what era you're in, kids love dinosaurs. Just went to a birthday party for a friend of mine uh, who's three years old in my church. Uh, his parents invited us, and yeah, dinosaurs is his thing. And I gotta say, even at 35, dinosaurs are totally, totally awesome. And when they come... You know, with three and three quarter inch figures to run around and be chased by dinosaurs, all the better. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. This is absolutely a great figure. Highly recommend it. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe as I post a new tour review just about every other day. And I'll see you guys next time.